So today I figured I'd get this, uh, try to get this Defender running. It's one of my favorite games as a kid. Love to play it. This cabinet's near complete. I've uh, got some boards I put in. i got to do some work on the uh, coin door and stuff like that. But really it just needs the control panel. So we're going to make one from scratch. And I've already gotten really far with it. And I figured I might as well do a video and show you how I'm going to finish it up. So it's got T-molding here. It's a piece of plywood. I drilled all the holes the right size for these buttons. So what we're going to do is drill a slot for the joystick right here. Got an original one. And then we're going to wire up all the buttons and uh, hook it up in there. Put in the clips, all that kind of fun stuff. So right now I have it all marked and I have to drill route out uh, a slot for this part to go in. I can't go too deep because then I'll just bust through the wood. So I have to play a little game of how deep can I go to make it fit but not too far to make it um, be too thin. You'll see what I mean. So let's uh, get this going. Here's a look at the router bit. So it just plunges right in and I follow this little square here. And have to move this. It's easy to cut the face that's in right in front of you, but not any of the others. So I'm just going to keep spinning it around. That should work. Should have put a mask on. Uh, nothing kicks up dust like a router, my goodness. Okay, so now, <coughs> this is going to be the hard part, the hole right in the middle. The joystick has this little piece of plastic uh, right there that just kind of rides and, it's, and it stops the hole that's uh, created from this going up and down from like stuff falling in there. You'll see later, but uh, I'm missing this piece on mine. So I gotta recreate it. And I have this uh, jar lid that I'm gonna make it out of. Should be just fine. Reminds me of the book Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance where this guy could not handle I think that his BMW motorcycle had this uh, it needed a replacement part so it was just this little piece of metal a shim and uh, his options were order it from BMW and pay a lot of money or just use like a coke can which is the same, it was like the same exact metal and everything, but he couldn't get over the mental hurdle of having a Coke can on his BMW. So he went and uh, ordered the original part. You know, you can't see stuff for what it really is. You're just kind of. Stuck in a certain mindset. There we 
we go. Let's see if this fits. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right, this is what it looks like from this side. You can see the piece of plastic in there moves up and down and blocks the hole when the joystick moves up and down. That's looking all right. Now the only difference really visually that you're gonna pick up on uh, by this control panel versus an original is this is matte. Kind of this regular satin kind of finish that's uh, a laminate that the original has a gloss, super shiny piece of plastic. But uh, that's really hard to recreate so this is pretty good. This is just like any other control panel. It's not spot on, but it doesn't look bad. These buttons have these little plastic tabs that stick out and they help the button from not spinning around. But they push on the overlay, this vinyl overlay. So I have to cut these little notches out of the overlay so that you don't see this uh, raised vinyl where it's pushed. These leaf switches are perfect except they're a little tall. That's okay because they're made in segments. So you can take a segment out and then cut off this extra plastic that goes through them like this. Put a couple screws through there. Now this is oak plywood, so I'm going to drill a few pilot holes. For the wire, I found this uh, security cable. This is 22 gauge. And there's four strands in this. I think you can get some with six strands. Uh, but it ends up being pretty cheap if you buy it like this. If you just buy the wire exactly like you need, it can get quite expensive. So. Let's see, six foot. 
this is stranded copper wire it's not the solid copper and you have the black green red and yellow which would be nicer to have additional colors but it's really not that necessary I'm gonna use the black for ground All of these wires get fed onto one of these blocks and I think this is a point one five six what I can't remember the name of this but these are specific for going into the board they're gonna fit in the board and these wires just smash down in there so I'm gonna lead one wire for each button back to these blocks there's two of them So I put the ground in this connector. It's just uh, line it up like that and push it in. That's all there is to it. Like that. So now all these wires into here and this is done. I cut the tip off a nail. I think that might work better we're pushing these wires down inside this hole. Let's try it. Yeah, that works way better. All right, the connector's done. We got two of them. And I can't remember which way they go on the board, like this or like this, but it doesn't matter. It's not gonna mess up anything. We'll just have to move them. So I think the top connector goes there, like that. And then this bottom one, like that. And we just ram them in. Oh, these are stiff. There we go. Come on. All right, make sure I didn't drop anything dumb down here. This has been off for quite a while. All right, let's move the cord like that. Where's the back of this? It's got this uh, switch. Oh. Okay, this part always makes you nervous, doesn't it? Except there's nothing high voltage on the control panel, so. Okay, let's find out. There we go. 
Okay, let's test it. First player works. Up, down. Up's a little. I think I have to adjust the leaf switches on up. Yeah, I, ne I never gapped the leaf switches, so it does work though. Reverse works. Hyperspace works. There's no music. Just kidding. All right, so I just gotta gap this switch. And uh, that's it. All right, so yeah, these are just filthy. I'm convinced that's all it is. There we go, I can see it shine now. Had to be all it was. I'd be shocked. Let's bend it a little closer. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay. So these little green dudes come to take the guys on the ground, like this. There he is. And if you let him fall too far, oh, he's got one. If you let him fall too far, they, uh, Plastic is way too hazy. I think I'll have to get glass. Oh, I'll probably put some glass here. There's way too many scratches in it. All right, let's go for it. Yeah, these smart bombs. Let's get it, get it. Oh. All right, total success. It is a great game. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I do notice the texture on here. Um, I'm just used to the kind of smooth plastic, so I might try to do one of these that's... Uh, Kind of a gloss finish later but i'm very happy with it so far so i just have to what coin door looks really ugly and put some feet on it and i i think we're done so defenders playable now toki what needs some monitor work and uh a new overlay there i don't know what i'm going to do with this cabinet uh this is probably going to be thrown out it's just too water damaged and then we have a Tempest cabinet, another Joust, which I don't need because I've got one already in the works. Commandos working. Screen's way too faint. Uh, this is working except there's no uh, music. The sound effects, all the bullets work, but none of the music plays on that. On Arrow Fighters. <laughs> My kids like that one. It's just whack-a-mole. Pac-Man works. Excite Bike. Uh, what do we need to do? Um, monitor, just kind of go over it all. It's making a lot of noise, you know, high pitch stuff. Needs a marquee, needs some paint work, and uh, needs a new game. Except bike's not that exciting anymore. Um, I might go back. I don't know. I'm having a conflict. Uh, I might just actually make this, keep it an X Men, and we'll do a Street Fighter in a different cabinet. Um, it's fine. Never had an issue with that. Fine is a little glitchy um, with some vectors every once in a while, and I don't know what we're gonna do with this one either. And that's the uh, all the projects. In case you're wondering, I'll see you later, guys.